Once you do that on both sides, we're going to work on the top area, which I zoomed in on, and you can see you've got valley folds along here, which are existing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these tips, you've got one, two, three, four in total, you're going to take the first one and you're going to fold it along that existing crease. I do not want you to fold along here, but I want you to fold along that existing crease. And when you do that, this paper starts to stretch from the second point. And then I want you to, from inside here, I want you to push on the paper so you get something that looks kind of like a pyramid. You can see that pyramid here. And this pyramid you want to collapse with an open sink. So you take your finger and you push up and you want this edge to align with that edge. And you want to align this edge with that edge. Like so. And then you can collapse this point down. You can see this is the result. And you do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Next what we're going to do is fold these points down and the next flap we fold down too. And then what you do is you take this point and you fold it exactly to the middle of this long diamond shape. So you fold it right up to the center. And then you take this edge, this small edge, and fold it to the center. We are now creating the eyes. You do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Now you're going to fold back just parallel to that crease you've got, just leaving a tiny little space. So you get something like this. You can see these are folded back. And if you fold this back up again, you can see these are the eyes of the mouse. This is going to be the nose. Zooming out again, we're going to turn the paper around and then, if you've got the eyes and the nose here, you're going to fold this edge to the center, and similarly that edge to the center. Then, what you do is a mountain fold which goes exactly through this point, like that. And then you're going to valley fold here about to get a pleat. So you've got something like this. Now you're again going to fold this edge to the center and when doing so in the bottom you can just crease it like that and in the top to make this work, you have to squash fold a small triangle, like so. And you do the same thing on the other side. Once you've got that, we're going to valley fold the whole model in half. And you can see here this is the tail. You can see white paper, that's why I'd advise you to use the same color on both sides. Now going to the head, if you fold this in half too, and make sure that this didn't flip back again, so you can see the eyes here, 
you're going to make a small crimp fold here to shape the nose. So what I want you to do is start maybe here and then go down in an angle, maybe out down to there. Just doing a reverse fold, just pushing this down and then pushing the paper up again. So you get something like this. This is going to be the tip of the nose of the rat in the end. And now we're also going to make a crim fold to change the angle of this head to the body. And for that you're going to do a mountain fold, basically where you can see this valley fold here. In the inside it's going to be a mountain fold. So just go like this. And then you want to, if you look inside here, you're going to start a valley fold here and go down in an angle. So you're pushing this paper so you get an angle on the head. Just be careful with the nose. Maybe unfold it again and refold it. So you can see you've got something like this. Now while doing this crim fold, you fold it through several layers of paper. And what we want is these ears to be totally loose. So if you look inside here, if you could just release the paper a bit so that these ears can be moved freely. And you do that on the other side too. Just taking that top layer, lifting it so it's not it's not down here anymore, but you lift it so it's on the top. And then just reinforce that crease. Okay. Next what we're going to do is we're going to make the body thinner. For this you're going to make a mountain fold that goes through this point and through that point in the inside. So you just fold a lot of paper inside. And you make a nice sharp crease there. So you can see this is what you've got on the front and this is what you've still got on the back. And you want to fold here exactly the same. So you've got something like this. Now you can see these forearms and let's make them actually look forwards. For this you simply do an inside reverse fold along here. So you can just put one finger in the middle of these layers and then push the paper through and then flatten. So you've got something like this. You do the same thing on the other side. And then what you do is you take this tip of that forearm and you do another small inside reverse fold just to make it look as if there were paws. Like so. Do the same thing on the other side. 